natural way. Going under, going under. Uh oh, okay. wait, hold on a second. Now this is a triple threat match, right? Yeah. We got uh, Mikado, Redneck, and uh, Outlaw, right? So what is uh, Hojo and Krista doing out here? I'm commentating. Being back here because we want to. Commentate? Nah. Yeah, yeah. We're going to uh, change the dynamics out here, so to speak. Yeah. I'm going to give y'all, to the count of 10, to get backstage or Outlaw's going to lose the match. Let's do a countdown. 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five golden rings, four, Have a good match, Outlaw. Let's get this MWF action started. I'm the Tommy Thomas, the voice of reason, along with the beautiful and talented Amber Helms. All right, let's get this show on the road. Let's see who's going to win this triple threat. Now, in case you didn't notice, before the match even started, before I could even do ring adductions, the, the outlaw spit water in my face, and Hojo Devlin took my seat. You probably deserved it. I mean... I mean, I, I feel like it was unjustified, and this triple lockup rarely seen, and both men double team the outlaw and start going to town on each other. I'm really hoping outlaw wins this. I mean, look at those guys. Small shim compared to him. But I mean, the outlaw, he's playing dirty. He, we got very lucky that Pitt, as commissioner for the night, decided to ban Hojo and Krista from ringside. You know me, I like it dirty, so I'm going for outlaw. Well, you have clearly made your point made for who you want to win this match. Now, Outlaw is running away as usual during a match, just running outside the ring, which is a smart tactic in this triple threat match, but still, it's just not sportsmanlike. Well, these two are going to wear each other out for him to have a chance to win. Now, Mikado has got the redneck in the corner with those chops, those methodical chops. Now, Mikado is lightning quick, but he is very methodical with oh, his movements. My boy. And yes, your boy Outlaw just got and, and it, out like a thief in the night, just going in, attacking, and then leaving again. Well, he's got a good game plan. I mean, look, get out, run around, let these two fight it out, tire each other out, and then he goes in for the kill. Well, I highly doubt Outlaw will win this match due to both of his, you know, friends getting, or his daughter and his best friend getting banned from ringside. And now here comes the double team. One more time. What are they setting up for here? Goes for the double clothesline, and Outlaw with the double crossbody gets picked off and slammed. Mikado goes for the pin. And Outlaw break, or I'm sorry, Redneck breaks it up quickly. And out of the ring goes your boy, the Outlaw. He's got, I'm telling you, he's got a good game plan. It, it's a it's a smart game plan, but still, the man should man up and wrestle. I mean, let the redneck and the egg roll fight it out, and then he'll get back in and take care of business. Now, Jason Davis, of course, he, he is a spitfire. I mean, this man is just, he you just never know where the next move is going to come from. With a great shot to the gut and now just wearing down Mikado, the Japanese-American assassin. I mean, I'm not going to lie, Jason Davis has some good strength. And the Texas Clover Leaf is locked in tight, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, Mikado gets to the ropes rope. with a little help from once again your boy, the Outlaw. I mean, what can you say about Outlaw that you can't say about the guy that shot John Wayne? He's just a horrible, horrible person. That's what I'm getting at for this one. I mean, he spit water on me, water on me. I did nothing. But. Uh, I did nothing to warrant that. Nothing at all. Are you in 
his way. Like, come on, think about it. And now Mikado has taken advantage of this match. The tides have turned in his favor. And oh, solid shot to the gut. It looks like it knocked that the win. That has to really hurt. Exactly. You st I couldn't have said it better myself. And that double drop kick right from the ground. One. And great ring awareness by the outlaw, knowing to break up the three count before anything got too serious. Now Outlaw is in full control of this match. Great scoop slam delivered by the Outlaw. I mean... And he's going for two! Oh, now, what's he going to do to Mikado now? I really do wonder. I mean, no one ever knows what's going on in the Outlaw's head. I mean, the man pours water on people. One of my earliest weeks here, he stole my jacket from me while I was doing the ring announcements. And Jason Davis, and here we go. This is my favorite move that Mikado has. It's the tarantula, ladies and gentlemen. Tarantula. Very, it is illegal, but who cares? It's on the outlaw right now. What, are you getting upset, Amber? I just like my guys to win. And a standing drop kick from the redneck delivered to perfection. One, two, and a kick out after two. I'm thinking of Jason Davis as Mikado out. The yeah, outlaw we'll have a better chance taking on Jason Davis and taking on Mikado. Well, oh, you're right on that one. Mikado with a little bit. Wait, going one, for the cover? Two. Mikado with more ring experience than Jason Davis, so it might be the easier victory for Outlaw to pin Jason Davis. Now Mikado stands him back up while Outlaw is still down oh. and just head first into that turnbuckle. That turnbuckle is almost unforgiving. Irish whip. Now oh, he's standing he up. up my guy. Is, is he your new favorite wrestler? He might be. I thought your favorite was Hojo. Oh, and I that. Mean, they're on the same team, so I got to cheer for them both. And here comes that springboard elbow to the head. It's a double, and double bulldog by Mikado. Going for the pin. Come on, I'll kick out. And Jason Davis breaks it up. Wow, you were hating on Jason Davis. I did, I said he broke it up. But, but the way you said it was just, yeah, Jason Davis broke it up. Hey, he pulled Mikado off outlaw. <laughs> of course, Amber has, has said who she wants to win. We, I guess, uh... I guess you're not happy when the good guys win. You you want the you want the bad bad you know man. I like the bad boys. It is what it is, fans. It is what it is. Now both Redneck and Mikado seem a little bit winded and out of it. And right now Outlaw has turned the tide on them both. And great counter punch by the Redneck. Another counter punch. And another one. And oh, great knee right in the turnbuckle and going for the double. I mean, that's the one great thing about triple threat oh. matches. You got to hit both moves twice. Now, Jason Davis is in full control. And wait a minute. Uh, Psycho. Uh, Psycho Superstar is here. And Jason Davis doesn't see him. And neither did the ref. And he is taken. He has taken down the redneck, and Mikado's calling for the end. And here comes another one of my Oh, that shining wizard. Going for the cover. One, two, three. Oh, really? Did I ring the bell? And your winner of the match, Mikado! Lazy rivers run, trying to find the sea, just the way that truck.
chief. in a row, I'm done with you. So at Brawl Games, it's going to be a last man standing. Revenge on them while he's down. I'm not going to, but I should. Go ahead and get the ring. Some people criticize my. 